Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Reality Hour. I'm Adam Samuel, and today we have a bit of a treat for you. Today we are doing something that is long awaited that I have wanted to happen for quite some time Dancing with the Stars. It's a show I will personally admit I am a newer fan to this uh, whole show, but I have someone here to talk about this new season with me, someone who is much more of a fan than I am, who knows all the stuff. And I will be honest, I'm going to be leaning on quite a bit throughout this season for the history. I have been trying to get her on this podcast for so long, but it has finally happened. Grace, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yes. So... Dancing with the Stars, it is back. Uh, it was this show. Uh, so here's my personal history with it. So I started watching Bindi Irwin season. And mm-hmm. I will be honest, I love that season. Like I went I'm rewatching it in. now. It, since then, it has continued to be my favorite season. I actually go back, like, I, like you mentioned, I rewatched some of the performances my personal favorite contestant on that season was Alexa Penavega. And mm-hmm. that episode is still, when she went home, I'm that on, episode that's is the like, episode I'm on right now. Funny you mention that. That is the, it, that episode is scarred in my mind because there was like the anxiety of, because we had this whole situation with Tamar Braxton. Is she sick? Is she going to make it on? Funny enough, she actually ended up going on Big Brother later on and winning. But in the oh, end, yeah. she ended up disqualifying Alexa because she, had she dropped out, Alexa would have made it. And she got like a perfect 10 from the first episode, from that episode. Yeah, she withdrew and, like after the fact. And had she just gone home then and Alexa had stayed, I love that season. I, I love it. And I will say, though, from that point on, it never quite kept on that level. Um, mm-hmm. But I want to throw this over to you, Grace. So... People, our reality, our viewers are meeting you for the first time. Tell me a little bit about your history with Dancing with the Stars. How did you kind of discover it? Okay, I started watching the show in season seven. That was Brooke Burke's, she was the winner, and she later became the co-host. That was Derek Huff's first win. Um, And then when I got to high school, I kind of just like fell in and out of the show. Um, And then I started watching consistently again um, in season 18, which was the year that Meryl Davis won. It was Aaron Andrews' first year. Um, and then, yeah, just ever since. Mm. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> if you were to say your three favorite winners of all time from Dancing with the Stars, who would you say are the three favorites for you? Um, Alfonso Ribeiro is my number one, for sure. He won season 19. Love that guy. Um, I don't know about the other two. Mm. Maybe I Kelly Pickler. <laughs> I, Kelly Pickler was so great. Definitely my favorite Derek winner. Um, but yeah, I can't think of a third. I'm just gonna go one because I only watched so many seasons. Bindi Irwin, like I said, that mm-hmm. season it was uh, that it was the peak of my my investment in the show. But yeah, the show isn't just the winners. It's also no. the, um, it's also the ju- uh, the dancers, the ju- the pros. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have a personal favorite? Um, pro from the show from the season uh whitney but she's not here this year <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> it's funny um my one of my other favorite contestants of of the show seasons that i've watched lindsey sterling and this is really awkward because like i said this is going to be a bit of a casual um yeah. episode i am forgetting who her partner was but he is my favorite partner on the mark. show mark i think he was Alexis too? Yes. Was Yeah, he's my favorite um personal favorite um pro. I think he is very innovative with his dances. He always mm-hmm. does things that are different, that are unique. He's fun. Um he also was on the same team as uh that female. I think she was a UFC fight uh or she was Paige a, Van Zant. Paige Van Zant um uh, I'm getting to her season Mary. Next. Yeah, she was like there's some good names. Usually, whoever is partnered with Mark is <laughs> my favorite by default. Like I, he's just so great. Is is he going to be on this season? No, I don't think. No, right? he mm. actually Lindsey Sterling season was his last one. Is he done? I don't know. I, really I was a little surprised Mark. when he came back. Really? Yeah, because what, like. Good? 
Because he go on. He was. What what was that? No, you go on. You were telling. Okay, because I think Paige Van Sant was his last season, and then he came back with Lindsay Sterling was on the show, and then he hasn't been back since. So I don't know if he's like done, done, moving on. I I really don't know. Well, he's my personal favorite um, mm -hmm. pro. Uh, but on kind of the, the back end of the show, not talking about the actual contestants, I think that kind of brings us into the major talking point that we really need to address here, um, which is the situation with the host. So <laughs> of the seasons that I watched, we always had Tom Bergeron and Aaron Andrews, who, who, who yes. really, Aaron wasn't the main attraction here, but Tom... No. Here's my opinions on Tom as a host. Was he amazing? No, but he was he was competent. He was like, and he's he was he's good. Been there day one, like he day and one. the judges are the constants. I'm sure there was one season where Len wasn't there, and there are a few where he was in and out. But other than that, they are the constants. <laughs> yeah, and look, I thought he was like competent. Like he wasn't. They're, they're worse hosts, and the fact that he was competent made him, like, immediately, like, in the top. Like, we have had some bad hosts on these shows. Right. Like, I've watched a lot of American – well, American Idol is um, – Ryan Seacrest is the the peak of judge of, of hosting ability. I yes. would have put, like, Tom maybe second. Mm -hmm. and or Like, he was up there. He wasn't great, but he was good, and that was good. And – now we get the news that we are ditching Tom and Aaron, but who really cared about Aaron? And we are getting Ty Ty from America's Got Talent. Well, that, that's at least where I know her from. I know people know her from other things, but that's America's how Next I know her. Yeah. Yes. And um, Grace, what has happened? What, what What's going on here? They're trying to make the show more diverse. I could go on a political rant, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I wasn't reacting to that. I was just reacting to something in the chat. Don't. <laughs> I can't I... see the chat. <laughs> you can't see the chat? Um, no, well, do I have to open on it's YouTube? For the best. It's for the best. If you go to YouTube, you can find it there. Yeah. <laughs> I, look, I don't know what was going oh, on go. with them. Um... The thing is, Tom was good. <laughs> like, he wasn't. Are you laughing at Eric? I'm laughing at Eric because it just. We're not watching yes this is this is a dancing with the stars it is a casual podcast but it is a dancing with the stars one. <laughs> anyway the thing is it wasn't it's not broke don't fix it that's kind of how i'm exactly. my opinion of it and i feel like, like a lot of things needed to change but he was not that thing yes he was one of the <laughs> good parts and i feel like we've we've traded him in for a clear like bottom tier host and you she's know, an executive like, producer so she's basically immune to getting fired how did this happen <laughs> no, I, I don't even know um can we bring tom back like i or can we maybe <laughs> you know what like i know it's not going to happen because the things have kind of passed but i think you should replace nick cannon like on on the mass singer, I don't think that's gonna Didn't happen. He I think leave? That was... And Tom was a contestant on that on last season on mass singer. Well, then it's perfect. It works. It works no, even I mean, better. Well, no, I mean, if Eric is still watching, there was a season of X Factor in the UK where Dermot O'Leary was fired for Ollie Murs and Caroline Flack, and then they were disastrous. And then Dermot was brought back the next season. So maybe that's what'll happen it's this like... time. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that was my computer. It's like you came crawling back. Look what happened. You you thought you were done and you just maybe uh, any anyway. So look, that was kind of the judges. Um the, I mean the the host. Um judges you actually are staying as far as we know. Me. Judges are are staying. There, there's a lot of names. There's like pros, there's hosts, there's judges, like uh there's there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of words going. <laughs> Too many words. Um, but what did I want to say? Um, yeah, you messaged me actually right before we went live with, um, with a bit of a, a, a new of some news. Could you kind of share what, what's kind of going on? So the show tweeted that Derek Huff, who is a six time champion, he was Bindi Irwin's partner, 
um, to mention one. Um, he's also a judge on World of Dance, which is JLo's dance competition on NBC. Julianne Huff's brother. Um, he is going to be back on the show in some way, but that will be announced exactly how on GMA on Tuesday. Um, mm. We're not sure if he's going to be a pro again, if he's going to be a judge. He's not going to be choreographing. The pros do all their own choreography. They got to give us a reason to watch GMA. That's just how it is. They 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 it's need a the number one morning show in America. They just need more of a reason. Um, for me, Derek Huff, I think he's cool. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with him. I think he's pretty good. I think it's also good that he's not on the show anymore because he wins too much. I know that's like a terrible thing to say. Nobody else has won more than twice, and he's won six times. Yeah, he he he's. But I feel like it's earned most of the time. Like he's just that yeah. good. It's like, and he gets ringers. It's like taking the Michael Phelps out of out of it. Like it, it just evens out the playing field a bit more. If that makes any sense. So I I, I'm I'm happy to have him back. I I don't want him to be a judge though. If that makes sense. Like I I think he'd be better as maybe if he was the new host. <laughs> maybe if he's the, that would be that bad. Or maybe he's like the Aaron Andrews. She laughs. She doesn't like the idea. I like the idea. I think it could be fun. Either. But like, I mean, I've only watched one season of World of Dance, and I didn't really like it. So, what what, I mean, what was it? What what was it's, that? It's a dance competition reality show. J Lo is the producer. She's also one of the judges. Derek is the only judge on that show with any valid dancing credentials. <laughs> it's J Lo, him, and Neo. What? And Neo, Neo? he's an R&B singer. Yeah, but he's is he a dancer? Apparently not. <laughs> was he a good judge? Or something? No. Was he a good judge? He was probably my favorite of the judges, but I don't. I don't really remember it. I only watched. It was a year ago, and it was only not, not even a year ago. It was the first season, and I only watched because it was right after AGT, and I was bored. <laughs> mm. All right. So look. Okay. Casual podcast. Let's start. Mm-hmm. Let's let's start going through some of these names. Okay. I tweeted when I saw the cast uh, release. Uh, I have no idea who any of these people are. I know one person, and that's Carol Baskin, the one who everyone by default probably knows. Otherwise, yeah, a lot of us. Totally, like in the dark. Like I, we are going to be doing this live. Like we, I have the Wikipedia <laughs> um, list, and we're just going to be going through them. And I'm just gonna go like straight cold. I'm gonna predict. And you know what? At the end of this. Grace, let's both predict a winner. Our, our wild guesses for who's going to win. You think okay. that's a... All right, so... Yeah, it's hard when we don't know who their partners are, but yeah. You know what? That makes it more fun. <laughs> so... Hey, we said we're not doing a draft until after the first show, so... Yeah. Cool. Oh, no. So, wait. When does the show start? When's the actual September premiere? 14th. So September not this coming 14th. Monday, the one after. So here's what we could do. We could, like, next week do our draft. And then the show starts. I think that's okay. right. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know who everybody's partner is yet. There's three people that I don't know. And I don't want to discuss that now because it hasn't been officially said. All right. More, more, it, it's more fun to, more fun <laughs> to talk about. Then let's move on to the list. So I'm going to go okay. through the list there on Wikipedia. So mm-hmm. the first up is a woman named Monica Aldama. She's a apparently, what does she do? She's on the show Cheer. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of this show. Uh, it's on you? Netflix. Um, I don't watch it. I'm re- I'm one of those people that really only watches Netflix for like movies and their old shows. I don't really watch their original shows. Um, it's a docu series. They it's about a college cheer team. She is the coach of the team. Hmm. Well, just like I said, I have no idea who this woman is. I'm just looking at her pictures. I googled her. <laughs> this contestant, I'm going to predict she goes out middle, middle, middle of the season. Mm-hmm. I think she goes, how many? We got 12 people here? 15. 15? Wow. It's a, is that usually the number it is? No, it's normally 12 or 13. Yeah. Seems like a lot. So either they're going to extend the season or have a lot of double eliminations. Hmm. All right. Hopefully the I, former. Yeah. Look, 
I think I don't think she's gonna go far. I, do Do you think people could get behind voting for her? What do you think? Maybe. I mean, I think being a cheer coach, she's probably got a like a good work ethic, a good attention to detail, and those are things that are gonna take you really far. Um, but. I mean, fan base speaks volumes on this show. We've learned from the last several seasons. And I don't really know if she has that. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I don't know if people would get behind voting for her. I feel like, mm -hmm. does Cheer have a lot of, like, is it centered on drama? Like, is there... It's like, a docu-series. She... I've never seen it. So I couldn't uh, tell you. There's got to be some drama. It's a documentary, <laughs> docu-series. There's got to be, like... Of course it is. But, yeah, I don't yeah. think... Unless she's got like some really good dance stuff going on, I don't think there's going to be that much of a push for her. Uh, like I said, I think she'll get through a couple weeks, but I think she mm -hmm. goes out middle to early uh, in this mm -hmm. season. Yep. All right. Well, next up on Wikipedia is the one person I actually know from this cast. It is Carol Baskin herself. <laughs> Grace, what is this year? What is, what is What has come of this year? People are saying it's the most 2020 thing ever to happen, but I don't watch Tiger King either. I'm one of the few. <laughs> I did watch it. I watched the full thing. I even watched that like crappy second like episode they added after the show got so big. So like they did a second like reunion episode and it was just really awkward and not fun. <laughs> but we got Carol Baskin here. Um, I want to throw this to you. Do you think, are you pro or against this decision? Do you do you like that she's here? Do you not like? Do you wish she wasn't here? What's kind of your thoughts? I don't really have an opinion on her one way or another. I've never really heard of her before the show. I know a lot of people are upset that she's there because of some things that have happened in the past, but I don't really know enough about them to comment. Look, I just care. I just want an entertaining TV show. <laughs> like that's all. That's all I'm kind of hoping for here. And I think, look, I don't think she's going to bring... The thing is, I think she's going to end up being a bit of a dud. Because yeah. outside of the Tiger King documentary, I'm sure she's like going to come across like a, a normal person. Like just the drama isn't going to fall. Unless the producers like really shine a spotlight on it, which they might. But I feel... She is getting a lot of attention to, from the media. Yeah. Here's how I think... Carol Baskin's going to do. I think she she goes middle early because I don't know if the dancing is that she's she's there because of her name and I don't think what on Dancing with the Stars there's two sorts of people that are cast at least from what I've seen. There's mm -hmm. the actual contenders and the names. You, the people who are both where you can combine those, those are the golden childs. But if you're just one or the other Either the the names alone are usually the ones that go out early. You're just basically riding the wave to see how long it can carry you. Um, mm -hmm. I think she's also kind of... the oldest contestant this year. Yeah, I, I I don't think we're long to Carol Baskin is long for the competition, but I think they are going to milk every cent of her that they can get. A lot of people uh, are saying they want an eye of the tiger dance. Now the it's going week, to happen. The first week dances are always like super cliche. Like Sean Spicer got Spice Up Your Life. Wanye Morris got a Boys to Men song. <laughs> like the first week is always like super corny. Grace, I can only cringe so much. We we can't. I think <laughs> we just we just need to move on. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> what other songs have tigers in it now that I'm thinking of it? There's got to be like some really funny song choices. <laughs> the costume department can put her in tiger print. What about every breath you take? <laughs> I mean, Bindi Irwin dedicated that to her dead father. You know. Because people don't realize it's a stalker song. That's why it's funny. <laughs> because... With her husband. <laughs> anyway, um, <Next>. actually, <laughs> one one final thing on every breath you take. Um, one of my favorite performances of all time, uh, Frankie Muniz. 
Very good. Do I don't remember, remember that, that one? one. I'll get to it. It was like, it was Halloween themed and they went like the full horror movie stalker. It was awesome. Like it was, it was epic. I, I, I remember he it. was good on Halloween night, but I don't remember all the other details. All right, we move on. Caitlin Bristow. Bristow? Bristow? Something like that. <laughs> so, this season's Bachelorette. <laughs> yeah, we there's there's always one. It's it's and they always make it way further than they should. Because I've, nepotism. <laughs> I've never watched an episode of Dancing with the Star. Uh, no, well, I have watched the Bachelor, the Bachelor. I've never watched an episode of Bachelorette in my life. I'm not neither of I into that kind of stuff. I think she could win. <laughs> that would be bad though, because the Bachelorette won last year. The show has and also, no rules. like, I know, but two in a row winning would be so bad. But also, like, she was actually supposed to be on season 21 with Artem, but then there was a snafu. So now she's back this snafu? year. Wait, now I'm curious. I don't know. Something, she wasn't allowed to be on the show for whatever reason. I mean, I I'm looking at her Wikipedia page. It says she's Canadian. Is there, like, maybe some... I'm spitballing here. I have no idea. <laughs> well, we move on. Vernon Davis. He is this season's football player. We get one every year. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with Vernon Davis? I'm not, but there's always a football player every year, and I'm not really a football fan, so I never know who they are. Uh, Ann Hetch, who is kind yeah. of the next person to talk about. Um, uh -huh. I started to read about her, and I think she became my favorite person here. My dad came downstairs when I was actually watching the reel. She's like, that's Ellen's ex. And that was all he said. So she dated Ellen like 20 years ago. Tell me, tell me about her. What, 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 what do you know about her? She's an actress. She dated Ellen. That's it. <laughs> basically. So Sky Jackson, what, what mm -hmm. do you think about Sky? I think she could do really well. She's the youngest. I don't know how many of the older fans know her, but I don't. But I'm not one of the older fans, I guess. <laughs> You're the fan that matters. That's that's who you are. <laughs> no, I'm not, clearly. All right. J There's so many names here. My God. Yeah. Justina Machado. One day at a time. And six feet Did under. Did you watch this show? No. To no? No. Let's Let's see. It's another um, Netflix 40, show. She's 47. Um, um, I'm going to go bottom half. Middle, bottom, something like that. Middle, yeah, middle, bottom. I think she could maybe be in the... I, I, I don't know who this person is. Neither but do I. I will grow to learn her about her uh, as the show progresses. We yes. move on. Uh, J Jenny, J Janine, Janine, Ma Mai, Jeannie, Jeannie, Mai. Mm -hmm. Um, so what's what's going on? It says she was a uh, fashion expert, uh, extra TV today, entertainment. Ooh, this wait a minute, she's on the reel. This could be a good one. This this might be someone to watch here, just looking through it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I agree with you. Um, I mean, she's on the reel, which Tamar Braxton was also on the reel. Um, she's young. Also, she. I know Tyra said she's going to do something with the fashion. I think the costume department is just fine. But she could put together some pretty awesome costumes. Because the. I think the couples do get some creative control over costumes. Hmm. She was, it says she is best known for her work on the makeover show, How Do I Look? Never heard of it. Let's see. It ran from 2004 to 2012. Hmm. Wow. The show features fashion victims purportedly turned in by their friends, coworkers, and family members. That is a so show I've never watched. To, so it's a knockoff of What Not to Wear, which was on TLC. Probably. Uh, what, what do you make of AJ here? I'm excited that he's on the show. I mean, as a as a 90s girl, I love boy bands. <laughs> and Nick Carter did pretty well 
AJ already has a lot of ideas for stuff that he wants to do. He's athletic. Um, I think he could do really well. I don't know if he'll necessarily win, but he might be a shock elimination. I hope not. But I think he could I, do well. I feel like we're scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit at this point, like with um, our boy bands. You mean, uh, we, we get one of these also. Um, how many Backstreet Boys have we had on the show? He's the second. Mm. And how many of in, in sync? Two. Mm. I feel like we're just, everyone's going to get their shot at some point. <laughs> As Grace nods her head. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesse, Jess or Jesse? Met Jesse Metcalf? Metcalf. Metcalf. Yeah, I think. he is. He is from Desperate House. <laughs> oh, wait. Like that show. Wait, I know this guy. He was the gardener. He was John Tucker Must Die. Yes, he was. <laughs> oh my god, I know I know someone. <laughs> Adam knows somebody. <laughs> I know someone. Like I know vaguely. Him. I know him. I know him. Uh I let's know. see. He's 41. Um He's beautiful. Desperate ha- <laughs> I, have you watched any of these shows? Have you watched Desperate Housewives and John no. Tucker Must Die? My parents never watched Desperate. Desperate. My parents watched Desperate Housewives like when it was running. But <laughs> I never watched it because I was like a child at the time. Just the name of the show sounds like sad. Like it's a Desperate Housewife. My parents loved it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John Tucker Must Die. That was funny. Uh, I haven't watched that in. That was like. Um, I don't even know what it was, but it was funny. I need to rewatch it. Anyway, who's up next? We got, oh, I vaguely know this person. He's Nelly. Ride with me. Hot in here. I don't even know. Band-Aid, like right there, something like that. (laughs) So tell me, I heard something about some videos of Nelly going around. What was kind of, have you heard something about him talking about Dancing with the Stars? Um. No, I mean, I thought you were going to talk about some of his legal problems, but I don't know much about that either. No, I, I thought I heard videos of him like talking about like, I want to be in Dancing with the Stars. Like, let me let me go do this. I've never heard of that. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that say they want to be on the show. And then they never are until they are. Anyway, so anything else on Nelly? Anything to talk about Nelly? If he makes the finale, which he probably won't, can we please get a ride with me or a hot in here freestyle? Nah, we're going to get that the first episode. Yeah, one of those is going to happen. All right. Well, let's talk about Charles Oakley. Wait, we do we get two? We get He's two sports players. We have three athletes. He's a basketball player. Mm. And he's like, long Oakley. retired. Yeah, he's... Oof. Th- this is giving me... First week boot, honestly. Possibly. Basketball players never do well on the show. Mm. Yeah, I I don't I don't really know what to make of him. I think uh let's talk about the next one. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. We move on to Nev Shulman. Neve. Neve. His name is full name is Yaniv, Neve Shulman. He is an American TV host and producer. He's best known for the documentary Catfish. Yeah, he created mm. it. I've never Did seen you, it. I have, isn't it like the show where they like hook up people who like are faking their personality to someone online? Something isn't that like what catfishing that. is? I think so. <laughs> hmm. uh, he, he looks a little like Sasha Baron Cohen, just going off his Wikipedia <laughs> picture. Are you Googling it? kind of does actually Uh, yeah i don't know i think he's not like first week i think he's late he won't be the first one to go he's like the the bottom he's like at the top of the bottom half is how i would maybe you guess maybe Mm. all right there's still too many there's still people to talk about there's so many yeah we We got nine had 16 people but every other season was like 12 or 13 all right we got Chriselle Staus. She mm-hmm. is known for Selling Sunset on Netflix. Also, she was on All My Children and Days of Our Lives. 
This is a this is a soap okay. opera star. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of her. I have never heard of her either. Let's see what else. Uh, career. Yeah, she's an actress. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of actor. There's a lot of actors this year. Yeah. Um, she looks nice. Yeah. Like, I guess. We move on. We do. <laughs> to Johnny Weir, who you actually know this name. Yes. Wait, I know him. I know him, but not for uh, for skating. He was on Mass Singer. <laughs> was he? I, I'm pretty sure he was on Mass Singer. Well, yeah, I know him Wait. from... I know him from the Olympics. He's a figure skater. Um, he's also done commentary the last two games with Kara Lipinski. He's known for being very flamboyant. Mm. He is a flaming homosexual. Yeah, yeah he, he and Kara Lipinski have done commentary for a while. I'm telling you, he was on Mass Singer. Like, I feel like he went out super early. Um, but what are your thoughts on Johnny? Are you are you a fan or not a fan? Um, sometimes I think he's a lot to take. So I think that could turn off the fans because he is quite polarizing, but figure skaters have a very good track record on the show. And I think that he could yeah. do very well also. I think he goes far, honestly, like, um, mm -hmm. just from what you're saying, like the skating, like there's, they go hand in hand here. I think he is, I could see him being like top five, maybe even oh, definitely. further. Definitely. Yeah. Do you think he could win? I do. Mm. All yeah, right. He well, was on Mass Singer, he was the egg. First one gone. I try to forget the Mass Singer, like, and he's done <laughs> dance, which is it's it's yeah. The Mass Singer was a fever dream, like watching that. Oh, anyway, I, I watched one episode and that was enough. <laughs> so I know we don't have confirmation on pairings between no. um, the pros, a lot but of do we actually? Out. Do we know the pro list? We do. All right, so hit me with it. I'll, okay. No, just tell me their name, and I'll tell you if I know them or not. All right, I'm going to look this. All right, let me pull this up. So we've got Brandon Armstrong. He's new. Yeah, right? he's, this is his third season as a pro. Okay. Well, the main headlines is no Whitney, no Lindsay. They're both pregnant. Wish them all the best with their babies. Um, moving on. So Brandon, uh, Alan Burstyn. Reigning champ. He's new also, right? Yeah, he's fairly recent. He is the current champion. Okay. Okay. Um, the return of Sharna Burgess, who is now blonde. <laughs> what What are your thoughts on the return of Sharna? Are you a fan? Honestly, I'm still sore after the season we dare not mention. Um, she's also a judge on the Australian version of the show. I think she's a really good judge there. Um. I like her other partners, but not that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, who else? Uh, Cheryl Burke. Vaguely know her. Go on. She's been on the show since season two. <laughs> on and off. Um, another returnee, Artem Chigvintsev. I, yeah, I, he's like one of those people that just always goes out like early, though. Like, yeah. he's always there. He's never made but the he always final. goes out early. He won the show in the UK. All right. Um, Val Shmurkovsky. Has he ever won? Twice. Mm -hmm. Rumor With Willis who? and Lori Hernandez. Right. Yeah, I remember Lori. She was good. Mm -hmm. All right, go on. Sasha Farber. He was Allie Brooks' partner I've last season. He was who? He was Allie Brooks' partner last season. He's never won. He always gets the shortest girl because he's short. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jenna Johnson. She's new. Mm -hmm. She's Val's wife. Uh, she was Adam. Ripple's she got upgraded. Partner. She got yeah. upgraded from Troop, right? Yeah, a lot All of right, them have. Go on. Um, this one, she was on last season, but she did not have a partner. Daniela Karagak. Something like that. We'll get to her in a minute. This is her first year getting a partner. I have no idea who that is. She was on last season, but she yeah. okay. Um, also on last season, but partnerless, Kio Matsepe. 
Oh, Keo. He, he never does well. Remember when he made the finale? Yes, with Ivana Lynch. And then didn't That win. was fun. She was good. She was, she was fun. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to win. Who won that season? We don't talk about that. Milo. Him. No, oh, that Milo was came Bobby in second. <laughs> Milo that Bobby came Bones? in second. Yes. Oh. Ivana came in third. Yikes. All right, moving on. Uh, Peter Murgatroyd. Okay. People like her. I'm not crazy about her. She's Max's. She's Max's wife. Um, okay. another newbie. Well, somewhat newbie. He was. It's his second year. Pasha Poshkov. He was Pasha? Kate Flannery's partner. Did we say that? Posh. It's there's a Sasha and a Pasha. Oh, I thought the first one was pot. Like no. I know Sasha. Like I remember Sasha. Yeah, Sasha's I, the Pasha's little Australian guy. Pasha was Kate. He's Flannery's good. Partner. He's cool. He was Kate Flannery's partner last year. Um, this is only his second season. All right. Moving on, uh, Gleb Savchenko, okay. the beautiful Russian. Oh, he was with the girl from One Tree Hill. Anna Kramer. Did, yeah. They did um, Selena Gomez. That, love I love that, that number. They did the tango. Yeah, that's love the only that. one I know, though. But yeah, he was also. I like a vague, like, spotty yeah. memories of these. He's the, last season. He was with Lauren Elena. Those were his only two decent seasons. Mm. Um, Emma, right. Emma Slater. Uh, I'm not a fan one. of hers. Yeah, J are you a fan so of Emma? Would have won last season if the judges hadn't cut. She would have won with. James would have won Milo. last season if the judges hadn't cut him. No, she wasn't oh. Milo's partner. For right. one one with uh, Rashad Jennings. Moving on. Um, newbie and the first African-American female pro, Britt Stewart. Um, Britt? She's in the like, uh... Just Britt. Okay. Uh, she was in La La Land. She was on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. She's been in the troupe. There have been petitions. That's exciting. Yeah. She's the first black female pro, so... A lot of people have been well, good for her. Um, um, I think that's it. Did I get everybody? All right. Well, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's our cast. We're going to be having the uh, season starts in two weeks. Uh, is it two weeks from today? Two weeks from Monday. Mm. Always on Monday. Uh, all right, Grace. Uh, before we kind of close this up, I want one question. I have one question for you. If you could change one thing about Dancing with the Stars to make it a better show, one thing, Grace, what is it? This is controversial, but last season they did the eliminations kind of X Factor style where the judges choose between the bottom two. What I would prefer advocating for is like a similar American Idol type judges save. It would probably never happen, but that's the thing I would advocate for. And also this, this season... I want a longer season. I do not want... Yes, Eric, that too. Um, but yeah, I would want a longer season rather than all these double eliminations. Strictly season usually goes up until Christmas. We usually stop at Thanksgiving. I'll take a longer season at this point. Hmm. I think if I could have one thing changed, maybe it would be like I love, for me, my favorite part of Dancing with the Stars that I don't think they do anymore were the dance-offs. If I could change one thing, I like when the show switches things up. When we have, like, like um, the partner t this partner switching. Like, I like week? more... What? The switch-up week? Yeah, I love that week. I like when they do the dance-off. <laughs> Why? Oh, well. Well, yeah, I mean, I even the pros that are married can't live together with this COVID thing. But yeah, there's no group dances. There's no team dances. They're just gonna like just do their couples dance and then bye. <laughs> Eric is making fun of my face. I froze on. I I, I need a <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> that look. This was just a casual podcast. There was right. no pressure. It was just we're just meant unpacking. To be fun. I, yeah, just um, going with the flow. Anything else, Grace? You want to talk about uh from the episode from the season? Anything you're excited about anything you're not excited about well so far i feel like tyra banks has been prominently featured in every ad and i mean dancing with the stars is always never it's never been focused on the contest it's never been focused on the judges it's never been focused on the hosts 
I think this year that's going to change. A lot of people are like, really, Tyra is going to make it all about her. I hope she doesn't. When she hosted AGT, it wasn't all about her. So I'm hoping this will be the same, but I will not hold my breath. Hmm. All right. Well, I think that's all for today. We will be back next week for a draft, which uh, Grace is pretty excited for. I need to do some studying because I, like I said, I don't know who most of these people are. But Look up their um, um, Instagram stories or whatever. Sometimes they'll post rehearsal video. All right. And that'll give you an answer. Grace, it was a pleasure talking to you. Um, Always. It was <laughs> fun to, I feel like, I feel like we have some good, uh, I, I, I like this uh, dynamic. I feel like there's, mm -hmm. the, I'm excited to kind of talk with you about this season. I know you are going to have a lot to say. I know your Twitter account. <laughs> your Twitter account is amazing. I will say like <laughs> what some of the things you say, like I'm thinking and you just nail it on the head and um, I'm excited <laughs> to have you joining us. So I want to say to our viewers, I'm Adam Samuel. You can find me on Twitter at Adam Soapbox. I run my website, adamsoapbox.com and my YouTube channel where I do book reviews. I actually just finished a new book review. It's going to be going live as soon as I finish this video, um, as soon as we are done here. Where can we find you, Grace? Uh, on Twitter at reality2 underscores Grace. One is not enough. Two of these. <laughs> well, actually, I think one was taken or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, who's taken the... the? I don't know. I think it, last I checked, it was like a suspended account or something. Those bastards we gotta get them we got them we gotta go to them uh, we gotta find their account we gotta say hey give grace give grace the account no it's okay <laughs> all right guys this was fun we will be back sometime until then peace <laughs>